What's going on, Killer Game Plays? Uh, continuing level seven. This will be part one for the Aqueduct. Very big level. Would probably take a couple hours to do it, so we'll just split it in two. And they're calling it a revisit because we briefly passed by here before. But uh, the first thing we're going to do is on these levers, pull the left one. Which will open the gate right be below us here. So we need to go through this passage, get down to the floor. And go all the way around. Get to a lever over here. So I believe that opens two gates. Um, we're going to go into this first one and pull another lever. Nope, that opened one gate. So this opened the other. Um, there is a skeleton switch here. We need the sword to fit those to, to uh, operate that. So for now we got two gates open. This one here will go into the left and pull a lever. which will close the other one. And we're after the second piece for the Eye of Horus. So we can combine those and keep going. But we need to go back up to the levers again. And we're just going to go back to that same left hand switch and raise it up, which will raise the second gate that we lowered. Oh. We will, we will be back here because there's a, one of those black beetles we need is in here in this maze. And I'll show you more about that later. So we'll go straight ahead into this uh, opening here. Let's go ahead and combine the Eye of Horus. So I believe we're back to QRS now. So uh, the last two videos we did was like a compilation of different builders and I didn't not like it, but um, it kind of broke things up a little bit. I like being back on on this on this level here. Some QRS stuff. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it stays that way for the rest of the game. It may not, but it's uh, huh. 
some of my favorite levels in this game are the QRS stuff. Which is, you know, 80% of the game or more. So, did I pass a lever? I don't think I did. Nope. So we got this boulder trap here, and it's, it can be a real pain. Uh, thankfully, I practiced it a pretty good bit, but there's no guarantees here. Run right around the corner, go down here, get a save point. Oh, shoot. Screw it. I hit the, uh, the edge of the slope, and it messed her up. Also, the edges of those slopes will catch you on fire, too, so let's try it again. You need to run close to the edge, though. Turn the corners close to the edge. And right here, we're going to duck right here. Awesome. Cool. So the very last, when you see the fire straight ahead, go to the left and duck. And you should be okay. Here we're running jump. Now we will be coming up through, oops. We will be coming up through this area shortly. After we get some stuff done over here. Time these swords out. Run and jump. And we have these spiked walls that going back and forth. Just time them out. There we go. Small med pack over here. And we have some flares over here and a switch that's hiding. Now that opens the gate to get back to the the maze where we were at or the beginning of the level. Uh, there's a skeleton switch to the left here. You gotta time this spiked wall. And if you just touch the spikes, uh. you're dead meat. Okay, there's the... That's the gate that opens to get back to uh, the beginning of the level where we started. The aqueduct. Uh, see what I'm talking about? Hmm. Just barely made it. So, you know, there's stuff that won't be done in here. We need to open this gate. There's a place for a key to the right. There's one of those black beetles through that gate to my right. That'll be on the second visit. There's a lever around to the left. And we need to open this gate. So I believe the first thing we got to do is there's a timed run.
So that other lever opened this gate to get to this lever. So just go ahead and save here. This can be a major pain. We have to make our way all the way back to the spiked walls. And we have to get through this one. Which I did. Don't. So let's give her another try. Jump here. Or you'll get speared. Time this wall out. Run. Wanna be quick on this because there's the platform we raised is on a short timer. the corner push this block in maybe I can get it hurry 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 ah, just in time so you see how quick I was there and it still almost didn't work and get over here to another skeleton switch let's see what this does Okay, that's going to trigger, there's a platform in the middle of those spiked walls. That's going to drop, we need to go drop down and do some stuff. This is the one of the gates we opened over here. You can go back over here and access the first of the level and the see there's the gate. The glass maze. This is where we started at the aqueduct. And here's the glass maze here. We're just down up below it. So we'll reload where we were. I just wanted to show you that. And drop, drop down here. We need to get a gold key. And a bag of sand. We're going to need later for a for uh, four elements puzzle. So we'll pull this lever, open the gate in the water. We need to raise this block too. And that gate below, we need, we'll eventually, we'll uh, lower it. So that's one thing that's cool about these levels you can't get done, everything done the first visit you have to come back and get things done over time so you look, do a little bit in one area come back with stuff you need to, to finish up very cool So let's swim up through this incline in the water. And we're up here at this rim now. There is the bag of sand is over here. We need to open the gate. Place where the key is to the left there. Let's get a cutscene.
Okay. The cutscene makes it look a lot more elaborate than it is. Um, we just need to swim up here. You can trigger that lower door to open to begin with. Jump down. This is on a timer, obviously. So we'll get a save point. Pull the lever, flip around and run so we can save time. Quickly get up into the next lever. Um, here we're going to sprint, hit the walk button, get to the left, pull up. Oh, I messed it up. I jumped instead of uh, pulling up. Try it again. Swim quickly, get up. Pull up, sprint, hit the walk button. Pull up. Get this first switch. Pull it, side flip. Pull this one, get a save point. We need to run diagonal into the opening. Oh, almost. Almost. Has to be a perfect diagonal. There we go. So here, uh, we're going to we still need to get to the top of this puzzle here. So we're going to have to run and jump to this next platform. Double grab. Pull up. Flip around to the left. Do a half tile jump into this opening. There we go. Now we're at the top of this. So that's that's that part done. And there's another one of those black beetles we'll have to get on the second visit and in this area. But for now let's get the gold key. black beetle is right in here and we have to use the sword of Fithos to pull the beetle off and then it the room gets filled with beetles that eat you alive so that's a lot of fun we'll do that on the next video here's the bag of sand and that will raise that platform There's another platform here to lower. Won't be doing that this time. Let's go around. find our opening here where the block raised and we have to work our way up these inclines but it's not too bad just uh, jump to the right pull up backflip jump 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 and grab the ladder Stay to the left side here. Flip around, run and jump to another ladder. And we need to get to a jump switch to open this gate to the left, which is at the bottom of that boulder trap deal we just did.
So we're just working our way back up to the hallway with the uh, moving spiked walls. So we need to get back up. Very clever design on on this. Now coming up, we've got sword traps and levers we have to pull that are on very quick timers. And it's tricky because where the levers are, you can't get a full run and jump. Let's get another cutscene. Thankfully, I've practiced this pretty good, so, but it's still tricky. We can get a run and jump here. We don't have to grab, pull up, and uh, get to this jump switch. This will start the whole deal. Flip around, get a save point, run and jump. Get to the first lever. Hurry up, Laura. Then we're going to run and jump. Now you can't see where you're jumping, so... And here's where I was talking about. You, you can't just run... Uh, you can't do a full run and jump. You have to kind of swerve to get the full run and jump. So let's see if I can... Get another save point. See if I can swerve here. Oh yeah. And you don't need to pull up here. This will be. Yep. You don't have time to pull up. Those swords will get you. So try to swerve here and just jump. There we go. That's what I was wanting to do. So now we're back up at the spiked walls. jump to jump over that opening in the floor so we'll time it out get by two spiked walls on that and there we go back up through the spiked walls hallway trap from hell <laughs> All right. So there's, you know, there's another skelly here. We'll need that sword to activate. There's a black beetle. And like I was saying, when you pry those beetles off the wall, more beetles come out of the wall and eat you alive. But we finally got this gate open. So, we'll just break out the guns. I didn't... This was almost too easy to be true, but you just shoot the, shoot the gate, get a torch. So, 
So we have to tote this torch around a little bit. First thing we need to do is go light it. The only flame that's that we can use to light it is uh, through this uh, spiked hallway. Back to that shortcut that I showed you. That goes back to the glass maze. So we need to do that. This right here is clever too, to have this, how all this, these different areas connect together is very, very clever. So we'll light the torch here, light this other torch, which should lower a gate. Yep. Okay. That's back where we got the torch at. So we need to go back. too close to these walls. some real good fun levels coming up this this right here I like this level say what all right I'll meet you back there damn it Danny I didn't realize that trap would actually kill you but it does Keppa. okay Working our way back to where we got the torch originally. Um, go over here and hit the number, hit the number one on your keyboard, and she'll drop the torch to get over here. Cool. All right. Drop down the ladder. Let's uh, detour for a secret here. We're just going to run, jump, grab, pull up, and we're looking for a large med pack. So, large med pack is a secret. Okay, so... It's all the way at the end. Just go all the way to the end. But this did raise a, a platform here. So we'll grab the torch. And now we have, have to light two sconces on the wall. So we got some uh, uh, slope puzzle with the torch. This is not real easy. Burn. Get her lined up here. Okay, right, hit the first slope, slide, get on these. All right, we're good now. 
just work your way to the left and hit this other slope. Get to this first sconce. Okay, now we're going to jump to these slopes, work our way to the right, and slide down some more ramps, get to the, the other one. Nice. This will raise a block and open a gate. And we'll be able to get over to the uh, the four elements room puzzle. Which is here. And we got uh, behind this gate. There's a uh, water skin we'll need. We got water, fire, and earth, but we'll need oil for the the fire. So we need to gather some of this stuff. First thing we're going to do is head to the water wheel room. We're just going to pull up here and back clip. Pretty cool area. So we got uh, got some gratings we need to lower. And we can go ahead and get another secret, so let's just go ahead and do it. Got just enough room to crawl through these the space here. Come on, Lord. And these are meant to be tricky here with slopes and but if you could just jump to the front edge of them, get up here. Got a uh, large med pack and revolver ammo over here. So the first thing we need to do is open one of these gratings, these platforms. To get to this back wall, there's a ladder. And we'll climb up. Wait for the uh, camera angle to change. Get a save point. We'll backflip and quickly grab action to grab the next ledge. And just shimmy to the left. <clears throat> Let me make sure there's nothing over here. Okay, we're all good. There's a jump lever up here. So we'll just side flip and get to it.
So this part can be very tricky. There's three levers in here. It's all chopped up and mazy and slopes and triangle tiles and everything to mess you up. So let's just start in. See, this is completely the wrong way. So let's go back this way. Looking for three levers. Here's one. Then it's tricky to find your way back out. So I believe these three levers will open up the other gate. So go back to this far one. Pull it. And we're getting low on air oxygen we're just going to have to each time it shows a screenshot too of a gate another gate we're just going to have to chug some med packs <sighs> all right where's my other opening <sighs> So we go to the right here. We can get back up. <sighs> That's two of the levels. We still need one more. And it's not like they're on a timer, so you can get some air if you can find the opening again. Not very easy. All right, here's the third one. That will have finally opened the gate. So I think one of these in here actually works to open the gate for the base of oil. So I don't think you can get the base of oil unless you find all three in this area. And this one, this side here is not quite as hard to do. Uh, as long as I don't get confused. I'll... Which passage goes where? Okay, here's one lever here. shows the gate where the base pool is. Um, also, uh, one of these drops a gate so we can get over there to the base pool. So this was, this would, that would have been the passage to the right. Here's the passage to the left. And swim in here, get another lever. this gate over here. We'll need to get to that lever. And then we have this other opening to the center. So we'll scope it out. And it's full of all kinds of uh, inclines and corner tiles and things to make it confusing. This is, this gate is now open here. And this is where the base bowl is behind the gate straight ahead. But if you look over here, there's a hidden jump switch. Just enough in the darkness to hide it. It's pretty clever. So we'll run, jump, get that one. And it's going to open the gate back where we were. If, if I can find it. Let's see. Okay. If 
back this way. And I can't remember if that was to the right or left. Ask nice. heck with it. We'll just try. We'll go both ways. Just make sure we don't miss it. I don't think it's this way. Nope. So it's, it's not over here, is it? No, it's not this way. So it was to the left, leads back to that, that area. We'll get some air and swim back to the left. There we go, finally. Pull this lever. I believe this will open the gate. There we go. So we're getting in our test for swimming skills here. Now we, I know, we go this way to get back to the, uh, the base bowl. So we got the bag of sand, we got fire. Get the base bowl. You do need to get on this side or around to the back side to get the base bowl. That will open the gate where the four elements puzzle is. Or the element scales puzzle. Four elements sounds cooler. Kappa. So we'll head back that way. We're all done in the water room. Now there are some gates in here. I'm not sure if we open those later or if we're completely done in here. We'll find out on the next video. Break out the water skin. Get some water. We got everything we need to get this puzzle done. Uh, it's good to get a save point too. Uh, we'll get a screenshot of the gate we're trying to open. Let's get a save point in case the uh, puzzle glitches out. We'll use the oil here. No. And the sand. For Earth, grab the torch, go back and light the oil. All that to open the door. Just put the torch there. Probably, I don't think we're going to need it anymore, but worked hard to get that torch lit. <laughs> so we finally got the gate open. 
Let's go over here. Go inside. There's a couple of pickups here. Uh, large med pack and flares. And once you walk through this barrier, we'll get a huge cutscene showing the next area where we got to get some more things done in there. And I'll be back. how they wait till the horse is stomping you before you can get control of your weapon. But this guy here, we want it to stay to his right. That's, that's the trick with him. Get on his right side and shoot him. On the left, it doesn't do anything. Kill him. He will drop a ruby cube that we need. And you can try to shoot him with shotgun ammo. I don't think it's worth it wasting all your all your ammo. Just the guns work fine. Just regular pistols. But if we check out over here, there's a cage and it's got the sword of Fithos in it. Uh, there's a receptacle here that will raise a block. So we can get some stuff done in here. That's going to be over this way. There is a skelly over here. 
that we'll drop a hatch. We can drop a hatch with. We gotta get that sword first. The sword's gonna help unlock a lot of stuff. So we'll pull up here, quickly jump, and, and grab quick. There's a jump lever over here we need to get to. And there's a platform under it. You want to quickly get off of it because it will open. There's lava under it. So quickly jump back. That jump lever will raise a block here. By the way, here's where four beetles go, the black beetles. That's a receptacle for that. We'll be doing that in the next video. Then we're gonna run jump over here. Jump forward, grab a ladder, get up. Gonna get up to uh, a skelly switch. We need to drop a cage to be able to get to the rope to raise it and get the sword. So we're going to go to the skelly switch on the right. The other one doesn't have a switch. The, the sword will be the switch. Actually, that raised a block. Didn't raise a cage, it raised a block, but it's going to help us get it. Get up on this cage, we'll just jump, grab the ladder, shimmy around. Backflip. Pull this rope and raise the cage. Nice. Give me that sword, man. Okay, so let's go back up where that skelly switch was. Now that we got the sword, we're going to open a gate for the next video. We pick up some things. Just work your way back up there. Uh, you might remember that water, where the water were, was, where the platforms were on a timer. There was a, a grating down in, in the bottom of the pool. This will give a screenshot. That's where that's at. So we'll revisit that. So we're gathering things to make things happen in different areas on different parts of the videos. All right, let's go find this other Skelly switch and open this grating. Uh. 
We'll jump in here, do some swimming back to the glass floor where the maze is at. And we'll hit one of those return paths to get back there. Very cool how these areas join together. Alright. So now that we have the sword, let's go get something done in, in Limbo. Let's go back over there and get a secret. So we'll return back to Limbo. Looks like some stuff's getting done in here, man. Got the mystery stones in place. Get her done. This will uh, raise a platform. That one I pointed out that at the end of the last video that wasn't raised, we'll raise it. And run jump to some of these tricky triangle tiles and make our way over to this other floating island over here. This is kind of tricky to do here. We'll need to run on this triangle tile, try to veer around to the left and grab this ledge over here. do it. There we go. I want to quickly jump off this sword trap here because it will get you. And let's get our pickups here. We got the crossbow, 10 explosive arrows, two large med packs, wide shotgun ammo, and flares. That's a hell of a pickup. So let's equip that uh, crossbow Make sure we got the right size explosive arrows. Give it a shot. Oh yeah. Ready to seek and destroy. Alright, that other tile is on fire. So we need to time out the swords behind us so we don't get poked in the butt and get over here and of course we need to do a a curve jump around here and she fell off gg laura gg Run jump, veer around to the left, double grab, get back to the transporter, and uh, we'll get back to the glass maze, and that's going to be it for this video. Got a lot done, and we'll come back for part two on the next. It'll be level seven, part two. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Come on back, and we'll get some more done and wrap up the aqueduct. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and... Uh, Hit that subscribe button. And I'll be seeing you on the next video. Should be within the next week or so. Take it easy.